Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so I want to speak about birth control, and this has been been some sort of like thematic topic um, occurring these past few months. Is um, some of you are, are have um, are have began taking it and are questioning it, and some of you are getting off of it and are really panicking. So for those of you who are questioning it, you've been asking questions, and I've been you know assisting you with that and trying to decipher if it's this a good Thing for you or not and I really cannot give you the answer it's up to you to do the research on your own I can only give a recommendation of what has happened with my storyline and many others but that being said depending on what your medical situation is and what's going on one cannot give that medical advice you one has to figure out what is the best option for them just wanted to say that okay now when it comes to the ones individuals who are getting off of it and then they're panicked so this is what happens, and I've done this upload before when it comes to birth control. Birth control is a bandage approach. It basically shuts down your down your entire system, gives you a fake period, it makes you feel like you know gets uh, covers the symptom up until you're ready to get off of it. And when you get off of it, you're shocked that you're not only still have PCOS, but more importantly that oh my goodness, your period is not coming on time. Your hair loss is now. It is, it is uh, far more, it's now come back. Cursitism has not come back. Weight gain, gain or loss, whatever the situation is, depending on your um, uh, uh, reality around, uh, around the pill. But weight gain, uh, in some cases, has you know, now occurred. And anything else that was basically the pill was protecting you um, from. So then that happens, and then there's major panic, especially around the menstruation not coming anymore. It may be regular for three months, up to two, three, you know, two to three months after you get off the birth control. And once the hormones are getting out of your system, then your body is getting back to its original state or so. Because the reason I say or so is because depending on how long you've been on the pill and how long you have not taken your supplements, while you're on the pill, you have now depleted the stores in your system that are the magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin, uh, you know, B complex, B12. Um, you have, I'm just trying to think, vitamin C for some, iron, uh, zinc, all those things are not sort of, you know, depleted because people generally, when they're on the pill, are not managing their PCOS, uh, PCOS with supplements. They're managing it just with the pill, which is, I understand, way easier. You don't have to worry about all this popping all these pills all the time. So I, I totally understand. So now this has happened and now panic ensues. And my only thing is don't freak out. It's very normal, especially with PCO sufferers, to suddenly get back to their original st uh, state or sometimes a little bit lower than their original state because of how they did not manage their PCOS. So what is my advice here? My advice here is this. If you choose to take your birth control, please make sure that you're also supplementing. If you are weaning off the birth control, uh, keep in mind that your system will not go to its original state because it was not given the muscle power to work in creating the period um, on its own. That was didn't happen. So now you want it to happen and that will take time. So I have several videos in, around this in terms of, you know, in terms of timelines. Um, I'm, I'm going to give an example. So for someone who was on the pill, they may have a regular period, like, you know, as a weaning off of, uh, off of the pill, and then suddenly it's gone or it's now stagnated again. So you may have one period after that every like four months or five months. And that's when you start regulating. My key message here is that if you're getting any period, you're still better off. Oftentimes, there is this attitude in the medical community, which I understand. It is a problem, but for PCOS sufferers, it's more of a management. You know, if you don't have PCOS, you're not getting a period, there's something else happening. But with PCOS sufferers, if you're not getting your period, we already know that is a byproduct of PCOS, which means that you're already at a good start. Be positive that it's coming even once a year, like for me, once a year. I took that, I ran with it, and now, like I said, for several years, I have been regular. So, um, and then, you know, it took time. It took, it went from like, you know, having it every three months, two months, and then one month. But it wasn't a very long gap in between figuring out to balance my, and balancing the insulin, figuring out diet, 
all those things, getting rid of sugar, um, and, and uh, you know, uh, facilitating uh, the management of a menstruation. So that part takes time. It's not impossible. It's not, your life isn't over. You will get a period. You will ovulate. Because again, like I said before, birth control gives you fake periods. You're not ovulating. Your body is not ovulating. So, and many, you know, young women or women, um, you know, many people actually, uh, I should say, don't know that. They don't understand that just because you're having this system, like, you know, systematic monthly period, quote unquote, it's not a real period. So um, I hope this clears some things up around what you should think about before getting on the pill. If you're getting off the pill, what to expect. You're going to get, in most cases, back to, you know, uh, again, regain the symptoms that were covered up. Um, but again, those can be managed through diet, supplementation, and so forth, but it takes time. Uh, any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, this is very normal. You're not in some sort of like unique situation or territory, and you're not alone. I hope this calms some nerves because I've actually spoken to several of you that have really freaked out. So hoping all is well, and um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. All right, take care. Bye.